Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Trends 360 studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is Monday morning, the 22nd of July. A lot to talk about here today. Uh, first thing was the, the big heat wave along the East Coast here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, uh, hot and steamy for sure and uh, felt miserable, but uh, again, record shattering. Uh, not really. Uh, only a handful of locations uh, tied or eclipsed their record high, but uh, not that many, actually. Center City, D.C., only about 99 degrees. Say only 99. Uh, Dulles did top 100, but again, these were not records. Uh, Philadelphia got up to 98. We were only about 96 here in the Lehigh Valley. So again, hot and steamy to say the least, but uh, by no means were these uh, record-shattering uh, temperatures. If we look at uh, the all-time record highs going back to 1895, again, the period of record here in the U.S. by state, uh, Pennsylvania has been as high as 111 back on July 10th, 1936. New York's uh, New York area, 109 degrees uh, back on 1926 in July. July is usually a lot of the, the record, July or August. New Jersey 110, so Atlantic City I think uh, top 99 uh, again. So hot in New Jersey, but again we've been much 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 hotter. Uh, DC's all-time record high is about 106, um, July 20th, 1930. New York City's record high is also 106 back on July 9th, 1936. So again we can can get a lot hotter than we were. Uh, I can't even imagine back in those days, right? 106 degrees in 1930, and I'm, there was no air conditioner, so uh, they survived back then, and uh, we survived here this weekend. Uh, looking at the um, Drought status here across the country, again, it's non-existent. Uh, only 10% of the country has uh, dry or drought-type conditions. Uh, par little pockets of the southeast, uh, New Mexico, and the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this time last year, about 50% of the country was uh, covered in drought, and that's about average. Usually about 50% of the country has some sort of dry or drought-type conditions. Uh, again, this chart shows 10%, so we're just uh, epically low, uh, near record low of all time. Uh, again, going back 125 years. Again, average about 50. So uh, we've been on a good run here, uh, but really no drought uh, since back to the 2012-13. Unfortunately, we're probably going to break that trend here, uh, as we believe in 2020-2021, uh, probably getting back into a, a dry to droughtish cycle uh, across the country here. So it's been a good run of uh, mild wet weather, but um, that's about to change. Looking at rainfall, obviously, uh, with no drought year-to-date, it's off the charts. Number one wettest in 30 years nationally, 11% uh, above average nationally, and 17% Above, above average, 11% above last year. That bullseye right there in the Little Rock, uh, New Orleans, uh, Mississippi area, 50 inches of rainfall so far year to date. Um, that's a lot, obviously. Uh, part of that was due to Barry as it uh, moved through here last week. Again, but uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of drought, to say the least, here across the country. Looking at this week, 22 through 28 July, the last uh, full week of uh, July here, much, much cooler, obviously, in the eastern half of the country. Uh, again, that cold front's gone through. So now the coolest in six years, fifth coolest in 30 years nationally, but uh, way below average here in the central U.S. and uh, parts of the east coast. Still talking 70s and 80s, so it's not like it's uh, you know frigid out there, but uh, again, much, much cooler than what we just went through. Dries in four years nationally, 12th dries in 30 years. Um, starting to see some of that southwest monsoon in New Mexico where they desperately need the rain. Again, so that's good news. It's been a very slow start with their, their monsoon and rainfall thunderstorm in the southwest uh, this year. Jumping ahead to next week, uh, getting us into the 4 August time frame, uh, we can see that the a uh, little bit warmer, warmest in three years, 14th warmest in 30 years, so kind of in the middle of the pack nationally, uh, about average, but uh, see that very, very hot weather is going to shift uh, more toward California, where they could certainly have a, a decent heat wave uh, next week. Nationally, it's uh, wetter than last year and third wettest in 30 years. Um, so again, pretty dramatic change here that uh, from the from the heat wave we just had. Uh, the little one was absolutely ecstatic uh, with the thunderstorm. So here she's singing uh, and dancing with her boom, boom, the thunderstorm lighting up the sky. She takes some liberty to some other songs she knows, uh, rain, rain, go away. Um, Daddy was actually just happy about the chart in the middle when we watched the temperature gauge go from 96 to 77 in about two minutes. I can much, much tolerate the 77 as opposed to the 96. So again, I was happy to see the big plunge in temperature. The little girl was just uh, absolutely ecstatic with the thunderstorm. Um, just a reminder, again, if you haven't played with WeatherTrends360.com website, we have a, a, a cool vacation planner. You'd want to go on to our website, WT360.com, go to the alert section. And in the tab on the left there, you can set up all kinds of custom alerts, severe weather alerts. Um, so you can be alerted just about anything and everything. You can create custom alerts. Um, but the cool one is this vacation planner. Um, again, as I said, I like 70s. Um, so I can uh, pick my 70s and partly cloudy and uh, my location and get this little globe anywhere in the world. And it'll tell me the three best weeks, the earliest, the best, and the second best week in the year ahead. Again, using our statistic 24 climate cycle approach. So it's a, it's a cool website. Uh, check it out. Again, that's the vacation planner tool. And I know folks are still in vacation mode here for at least another month. 
So with that, folks, have a great week, and we will be back here this time next week.